Okay, now we're gonna go through um, running low voltage wires, uh, coax for cable, cat5 for telephone, uh, speaker wires, all sorts of various low voltage wires. Um, when you're running a low voltage wire, you don't wanna share holes with um, regular electrical. Um, if you take your coax, coax line and your cat5 line and I went through these same holes, the power current that runs through the wire will interrupt with the uh, current that's supposed to go through these wires. So you generally keep them running in their own holes. Um, I'm gonna be pulling both these wires at the same time from this box all the way to the panel. I'm gonna begin by taping the wires together. That way they run smoothly together. And, uh, and I'm gonna start at our box location, up through the hole, and back to the panel. So now we're back at the panel with our coax and cat5 line. Um, I like to uh, make sure I have ample amount of wire. Um, it's going to be connected into these cable lines here and the blue line will be connected into the telephone system there. So sufficient amount of line, coil it up. Um, very cautious not to kink this wire, um, it will cause damage that you can't get at later. Alright, so uh, bedroom, cable telephone, rec room, cable telephone, uh, I'm ready to go back and staple this back to the bedroom and that'll be done.
Okay, now we've got our wire stapled all the way back to the box. I'm gonna want to uh, leave extra wire before I cut it off. All right, so uh, now with these light gauge wires, um, you can't bend them in the similar way that this is going on or you'll cause damage to the wires. Uh, so what I like to do is feed them through their own holes on this box. Bring out the end. Tape it together. Now uh, taping those together will prevent these wires from being able to slip back out of the box. So what I do is one bend to get it in there and then you've got a position these wires into the wall so they could be loosely pulled down once the drywall is done to do the final connections. So I've got my wires up into the wall. I just want to temporarily fasten it with some tape uh, so the wires don't interfere with the uh, application of the drywall. Um, then when this cable telephone is getting hooked up, the um, person can pull on the wire and the tape will release and they will have all this extra slack to work on putting the cable ends and telephone ends on. Okay, now that I've got my uh, wire taped in here roughly into the position, I'm just going to show uh, what will happen inside the wall once the um, workman puts the ends on this uh, TV telephone line. So they would just grab onto this and pull and they can gain all the uh, wire that they need. These wires will be safely in between the two layers of drywall. 